I went to Lowe's this morning and I bought some brown paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this sub roadbed surface here on the plastered section on my hill. And I'm also going to paint all the foam, this MDF, and I'm thinking about painting the cork roadbed as well. I figure with the paint, well, painting on top of the spackling, I think it's going to give me a lot better gluing surface than gluing on spackling. So, get started on that. I have a kind of a medium brown color. It appears that today is painting day. So I'm going to be doing some painting. I'm going to paint the fascia here black, eggshell black. Then I'm going to paint the lower part of the peninsula semi-gloss white. I put some paint on the peninsula. I painted the fascia with eggshell black. You know, it looks looks better, looks more finished. And I painted the bottom semi-gloss white. And I think it's I think it's looking pretty good. Time to start thinking about gluing down some cork road bed. And I have everything pinned in place. You know, I want to get a good visual look at it. And I'll do like I did before. And I'll run a marker alongside the cork road bed uh, so I know where to apply my adhesive. All right, time to start putting down some adhesive. And I put little hash marks on the side here where the cork road bed ends. So I'll put down adhesive for a section, pin down the road bed, and then move on to the next section. And I'm using Loctite Power Grab Heavy Duty. pretty quickly with this stuff so it doesn't start skinning over. second piece of road bed goes much quicker because I can just lay it up against the, the first piece. And once this dries, I'll sand it. Eyeball it. Mm. 
So the cork road bed is glued down. And I'll let that sit overnight. Give you a look at it. And so far, three tenths, three tenths of a degree is, is my worst reading. Well, I've run my homemade block sanders over my outside main line. It goes up in elevation. I think I'm about, I think I'm in pretty good shape. And I still got that dip in my road bed here. I'm going to try to get that out once and for all. So I got spackling in there. Once that dries, I'll sand that out and see if I can get that dip out. Well, now it's time to try to figure out just where everything goes. And, you know, I can see my line here in my road bed. And I'm trying to line up this turnout to it. And I have, now this is a number four left, this is a number six right. And I also have the center line of the road bed here. And I'm trying to figure out where this turnout goes. Now you can see where I have the, the road bed center line here, but it diverges a little bit, so I lose that definition. Well, I believe I have things in place here. Now, in my mind, this is the most crucial and difficult arrangement on the peninsula. Where I have the, the number six here, the number six there, and then the connecting track here. And that's one piece of flex track I had to trim up here. So let's go take a look at it from the other side. Now I use the cork road bed as a guideline. You see I have the turnout centered on the road bed. And then I've centered it here and I've centered it here. I have the track for the industrial area all cut to shape. Out the market so I know where everything goes. But I have a problem. I was going to use tortoise switch machines to operate the turnouts. <laughs> the problem is I got a cross brace 
right where I need to drill the hole. Now I got all these tortoise switch machines and I would really like to use them. Now these came from that first module I built six years ago as with the associated electronics. Don't even remember what this stuff is now. Had it all hooked up at one time. Everything was working great. Well, I marked the pieces. I'm going to disassemble my track here, pull the pins out. But I marked the pieces of track that might be difficult to figure out where they belong. Well, I've determined I can find a way to make these tortoise switch machines fit under my bench. I'm going to have to get a little bit creative in one spot. but Now I need to work my way up to a quarter inch hole for the, uh, for the wire. It's a piece of music wire here that will activate the turnout. I need to open the hole up big enough. So I'm working my way up to quarter inch. And I don't want to go right to quarter inch. So I don't want to tear up the cork. So one step at a time. This is the quarter inch bit. And this turnout here, I mean, it's right up against the cross brace in the module. But there's just barely enough room to mount the switch machine. All right, what I have to do is I have to cut a notch right here in this cross brace to let me mount the tortoise in here. And once I have that cut out, I cut a new cross brace that I'm going to put here, glue it, and clamp it. And then I think that'll be just fine. So, let the show begin. All right, you can see the hole right here for the tortoise. And so the tortoise will mount just like that. And then my new cross brace will go up just like that. And now I have, now I have room for my tortoise. Well, most of the time there are ways around obstacles. Just have to look for a way. And now I'll be able to mount my tortoise machine right here. I'm going to let that 2x2, two two, let that carpenter's glue set up for 24 hours. I can pull the clamps. We'll be good to go. Well, I think I'll take my 1970 Olds Rally 350 for a drive. I don't think I've driven it since October. So I think 
think I'll take it up to the grocery store. Get me some Coke. You know, I think they probably started putting cocaine back in this stuff again. I don't know. Sometimes I just got to have some. All right, back to work on the model railroad. Well, I have my tortoise switch machine issue resolved. And everything on the peninsula will have a tortoise switch machine. So there'll be six of them. So I think I'm ready to put some track down permanently. Well, I think I'll start with these three pieces of track, these three turnouts. You know, I got a number four right, number six right, number four left. And, you know, I think I'll do the, the whole tracing thing. Seems to be working for me. So, with no small amount of apprehension, I'm gonna do it. I got uh, this Loctite Power Grab Heavy Duty, and hold on to your butts. Try not to get this on too heavy because I don't want it squeezing up, squeezing up around the ties. All right, I'm gonna try that. And I got my my turnout throws over my holes. Let me look down that and see how it looks. You know, these number four turnouts kind of throw me off a little bit because they're, you know, they're not completely straight. Let's get this turn out in. Yeah, I don't want to. a lot of adhesive, just just enough to glue it down. Okay. All right, now we have it lined up with the center of the road bed here. Here, here, pin down. Pin it down back here.
right. So far, so good. Got a little up between the ties there. I need to get that out. You know, I'm hoping these, you know, uh, entry and exit points to the turnout don't cause me trouble, you know, like right here, because it's just a, a slight kink there. You know, and I have the same thing on this side. All right, the industrial area track is glued down. Get a look at it. You know, it looks like it kinks over just a little bit past that second set of turnouts. That second set of number fours. Just a just a bit. But I don't think that'll be an issue. I mean that's Overall, this area went together pretty well. Oh, there are some small gaps. Really, the only issue with gaps I have is this one right here and you know I'll, I'll fill that in with styrene you know I once it sets up I'll pull the pins and run a car over it but it looks like it's going to be okay I have track I have all of the zero elevation track in place. I mean, obviously this little piece is missing, but that's all right because I want to wait until I install the double crossover on the lift out before I put that piece in. So I'm going to let this set up overnight. Pull the pins out in the morning. And again, this piece is a little bit long. Of course, that'll be trimmed back when I get the bridge in place. And that is an 18-inch curve. So that's a it's a pretty tight one. Alright, the glue's dried. I have all the pins out. You know, I was concerned about some of the joints. It seemed to seem to be pretty good. <clears throat> and I'll solder this one, but it seems to be very smooth. So overall, you know, pretty happy with it.
Well, I think that'll wrap it up for this video. It's starting to get pretty long. But made some pretty good progress the last few days. I have all the zero elevation track in. I mean, obviously not this piece, but I wouldn't put that piece in anyway. I want to wait until I get the double cross over on the lift out section. But uh, everything seems to be working well. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. So thanks again for watching and move on to the next step.